Hi there, I'm Black Bright, and um, it occurred to me um, that when somebody asked me today about the driving licenses, I'd done a video about the driving license when I thought we were um, leaving the EU in March, and so I was telling people to rush and get it before the 28th of March. Um, but I didn't realise that once um, once it was extended, what the implications would be. So now that it's been extended to the 31st of October, um, the implications are not that different. The fee is still the same. It's still £5.50. You can still get it from your post office. The only thing that changed on the 28th of March was that um, they've got three different types of international driving permits, which I'll call IDP which, depending on which convention they're under, determines which country you can visit with them. This is post 31st of October. Now, you'll still need, once, once we leave EU, you're still going to need you to take your UK driving licence with the appropriate IDP, but I'll let you know which, in, which international driving permits, permits are relevant for which country, just in case you're going outside the EU or the EAA or whatever. Okay, so, well, pre-Brexit, first of all, you won't need it. That's up until now, until the 31st October, you don't need it. Um, you can get all your details on www.gov.uk, my favourite website that tells you everything and you know it's legit. Um, but yes, the 1926 Convention IDP, um, you'll need that one if you're going to Liechtenstein or Mexico. The 1949 Convention International um, Driving Permit, you're going to need that if you're going to Ireland, Iceland, Spain, Malta and Cyprus. And for all the other EU countries, Norway and Sweden, you're going to need the 1969 Convention International Driving Permit. So I guess what you'll have to do when you go to the post office is let them know which countries you're going to visit and they'll furnish you with the correct international driving permit. This is short and sweet. I'm not going to belabor the point. £5.50 from your post office. Bye bye.